So today there's a movement that's taking place online, specifically that young men have become interested in this. It's, it's self-improvement. And I'm not tying this is not tied to the red pill community. It's sort of tied, but not really tied to the red pill community, all that stuff. That's a whole different conversation. This is specifically about people who maybe they've whether they've gone through a breakup, they've hit rock bottom in life, whatever it may be. They end up going to the gym. It all starts with the gym, the gym pill. You, you go to the gym and it's like a domino effect. Next thing you know, you're getting introduced to new concepts. You're eating better. You know, you're more confident. Like It's like a it, it's a self-improvement is, is an all encompassing thing. And it's, it has many different forms for many different people. Some people, it goes deeper and further than others. Some people, they've gotten the concept of self-improvement. But especially if they're influenced online, they found a way to monetize it. So they just it becomes a, a money thing rather than actually helping people improve themselves. But I've been on self-improvement. Self-improvement, I'm constantly on self-improvement. That's a, a never-ending walk, a never-ending journey. But the one key thing that's been missing from this that I've seen time and time again, and I saw from the beginning, is God. Now, some self-improvement influencers have started to pivot toward that way. But in the beginning, it's really mostly like, just go to the gym, just do this and just do that. And really, that's people's personal walk. Sometimes you're walking with the people who are making these videos and putting that stuff out there. But God has been the one key thing that's been missing from the self-improvement journey, the mainstream self-improvement journey. And really, a faith walk is the original self-improvement, a walk with God. And people don't think about that because out of everything we do on this planet, Everything we do in our lifetime, only what we do for Christ will last. We could do, we could have billions of dollars. We could have built skyscrapers. We could do all that stuff. But once you're gone, you're gone. And where do you go? Now, you can leave that behind for the next generation. And eventually, maybe that, maybe the skyscraper gets knocked down. Like, I know it's a terrible example, but 9-11. Those towers are gone now. So anything could happen to what you leave behind and it's and i'm not saying don't leave anything behind because i'm leaving stuff behind I'm, I'm gonna leave stuff behind for my my kids my grandkids but at the same time at the root at the foundation god should be at the core because without him we're doing everything under our own strength under our own volition because i've seen many times where people are on these self-improvement journeys and they're still empty and you can see them still searching still seeking still trying to figure it out you know and that's that's fine because it's always a learning process but you can see there's always that one piece of the puzzle that's missing god is always one piece of the puzzle and you have some of them some influencers who have sent people down an even worse path the opposite way they tell you to go to the gym get money do this but then they send you in the direction of a more degenerate lifestyle a uh, lifestyle of indulgence a uh, lifestyle of just you're, you're giving into your vices even though they're simultaneously telling you to you know be better do this all this other sort of stuff but still sending you down a path of a vice grip so that's why God is so important, because you have many young men who get led astray. Yeah, they got muscles now, but they're still their 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 spirit, their soul is still empty. It's still being filled with the opposite of where they're trying to get to. So that's the biggest thing that I've seen. And then monetization and look, make money. Look, that's what you got to do. You wanna, That's how you feed your family. Cool. But a lot of people have taken this concept make videos on it um tell people to do this do this uh, five steps to this three steps to this whatever and it just becomes a shallow money grab and there is no depth but be depth below and reading i think reading books would give people more depth which is something that i personally have to to do is, is read more because i struggle to read and i'm not saying that i can't read but like i struggle to like really get into a book so there's other ways, but but these quick money grab videos, five steps for this, six steps for that, seven steps for this. Like I, I made a video called Four Ways of Dealing with Anxiety, but that was a simple video. It was really giving people four steps. It wasn't anything else. It wasn't anything extra. It wasn't selling the book. It wasn't selling the course. Nothing like that. But 
what happens is people do this constantly, constantly, video after video after video, and that's how they make their money. I have no problem with people making money like that, but there is an after effect. And what started out as something that was trying to build people up and, and send them in certain directions and trying and, and turn the tide around for the youth these days and for our generation, it turns into a shell of itself. And this happens time and time and time and time again. And now the self-improvement community itself is at, a, is at a pivot point to where some people are pivoting toward the, you know, find God, seek God. And then other people pivot. They pivot in the other direction. They end up going more the money route. They become less and less from where they originally started and end up more and more just money makers. They just make money. They tell you to just go make money, go do this, do this, blah, 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 blah. Get the Bugatti, get the whatever. OK, and that. That is why God should always be at the foundation, because without him, everything we do is futile. The self-improvement is futile if you're still suffering in the end. You could be sitting in a, a big house. Maybe, maybe you the craziest part is you could have gotten muscles. You could have gotten a woman. You could have got you could have gotten um, uh, an apartment or a house you wanted. Your life is improved in a way on the surface, especially on the surface. It's like running on a treadmill and everything is like you can see earth and, and life moving past you. But that's the biggest trick of the enemy, because you could be running and you think you're running like running down the street. But you're on a treadmill with a simulation of trees and houses passing by you. And that's how simple it can be. And next thing you know, you're sitting alone on a couch still feeling empty because that one piece, that one core foundation was missing. So that's all I got to say on this. One. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, comment, subscribe, like, whenever you do it, however you do it, whatever you do, just do it. It's your boy Red X Black and I'm out. Peace.